Hello everyone, my name is H Timbers and welcome back to Megaton Musashi Wired. Alright, without further ado, let's get back into this. Alright, here we go. Deploy from the mission counter. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. Playing as you go. Divine Beast. Origin identified form. Alright, here we go. We got Musashi. Well, no, not Musashi. Masashi Xenon, controlled by Kojiro, Ryugo, and Masumune. Maximum Blaze T, controlled by Jun and Momoka. Alright, cool. Wait, what's going on? Wait, who's that? This time, we'll deploy heavily armored units capable of taking damage from that beetle monster. That would mean Musashi Xenon and Maximus Blaze Titan, yes? But I thought the Musashi X was made for space. The Zenon custom model is an improvement on the X because it's an all-purpose model. I find, with its extra power of terrestrial for terrestrial usage, the Titan is an excellent unit too. Oh, cool! Well, that's good. Well, here we go. Let's do this shit. Where the hell is Yamato anyway? And why the hell do I have to be his pinch hitter? The team in charge of the new development system asked him for his help, so that's where he is. Oh. What did I even do? I don't know the details either. Mm. Wow, so you're telling me Mr. Hero Star, Mr. Hero Star is still rising even more than when he was a pilot? Yeah. <laughs> Musashi X Zenon ready for launch. Roger. Alright. Here we go. Skip. Yada yada. Skip again. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. Let's do this. Fuck yeah, man. Oh, I'm not gonna skip this part. Damn. Alright. Here we go. Let's do it. What? The fuck? Horned Animus. Dear Lord. What the fuck? What? Well, where? You know it. Whatever for you, you freak. You know I kind of missed this. Uh. Oh shit! No! Oh my god! Uh. 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 Boom! Yeah! Oh really? What? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? Shooting star gun. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Our attacks aren't working. Are you kidding me? It isn't even flinching when we hit. We're getting nowhere fast. Now what? Uh, shit. What the fuck do we do? Come on, what do we do? What do we do? Queen Arsham, what should we do? Yeah, that's what the fuck I want to know, dude. A rogue won't be enough to stop that thing. And then I'll have Yamato stop it. What? How? Yamato... Oh, Yamato Ichidaiji. But he should be with the development team for the new system. No, you can't mean... What? Mean what? Mean what? What the fuck is going on? Explanation. Yamato, the beetle animus is approaching. The original goal of our new development team was to rebuild Godhammer and use it to restore Earth, but to suddenly be thrown into combat with it? Yes, it's hard for us to think of the Godhammer as anything other than other an enemy. There's a saying about how the worst enemies make the best friends. Himuri, Duke, let's go. Godhammer 2, activate. Assume giant stance. Oh, shit. Now what? Uh, uh. Oh shit! That's the god hand. Holy fuck! 
Wait. Don't tell me we're controlling that thing. We're going to fight using that thing. Don't tell me. Oh, shit. Yeah. The drawn horned animus is no match for this thing. But what the... Uh... Um... Preparing to fire main ground laser. Okay. I don't think that'll work against it. We'll use brute force to stop it in its tracks. What? External armored barrier on. Let's focus the energy output in the legs and overload it. We should be able to push it to 200%. Understood. Commencing overload charge to the legs at 200% maximum. Woohoo! Try this now, you giant freak. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on. Oh no. Oh! Damn. Do it. Attack while I've got pinned down. Don't hit the god hammer, even by accident. Want to sell me a bridge too while you're at it? They're saying if we focus our energies on our attacks, we'll definitely deal damage, right? You got it. Alright, make a tough punch. What the hell? Where the hell are you aiming? Attack the Kabuto, not our own. Got him without target, so get your head in the game. Yeah, I know that. Can you shut Yo, what the hell are you doing? Quit scoring around already. I, what the fuck do you want me to do? Ah, uh, come on. What? What? Um. Uh, Yamato, all engine generators are approaching their limits. It's dangerous to keep taxing them. Damn, surprisingly wimpy for a big beast. Kojo, sorry about this, but fall back for now. Can you buy me some time until I get back? What's the plan, Yamato? The big bang, you'll see. So don't you dare let it get you, okay? I can't promise I won't finish it off by then. I double dog dare you. The rogue's attacks should have some effect now. You got this. Understood. Yeah. Alright, let's continue. Holy baloney, are we doing this? Are we really doing this? We don't have any other choice, so suck it up. If we lose, it'll crash into the base. Oh my god. What? I don't got no health? Oh shit! This is good. I can keep going. Move. Please move. Oh my god. I don't even think I... Oh my god. Oh god. Ah. Ah. Okay. Can't make a thumb punch. No. Ah, fuck. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right, fire. Boom. Ah. Ah. Come on. Shit. Oh god, oh god. Uh, shit! Make a tongue punch! Yeah. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh shit! God damn! Uh, come on. Uh, make a tongue punch again. Uh, ah, fuck! This isn't good. My character was led to this. I'm fighting until my last breath. Ugh. Come on. Okay. Oh god. You're gonna consider it, but still hanging on. Yo, Yamato, what's the hold up? We're at our limit here, man. Hey guys, did you miss me? What? Where is he? What? What? Where, where, what? Hold up, what? Oh. Kujiro, its back is covered by thick armor, but its belly looks weak. God Hammer can expose it. Hit it with the cross Xeon Blaster and multi-target missile missiles Omega. Yamato, can we really try that in this situation? Let's trust him, Kojiro. Besides, it's not like we've got other options. 
That is true. If anyone can pull this off, it's Yamato. Yeah. We won. We won't know until we try. Yeah. So, therefore, let's do it. What now? Even considering the weight difference, it's impossible to lift the beetle animus. I have an idea. Kojiro, use the cross Zeon blaster to destroy the ground under God Hammer's feet. But that would cause the God Hammer to lose its footing. No, it'll work. Just try it, will you? Okay, I understand. Initiating cross Zeon blaster sequence. Up. Uh, here we go. Firing cross Zeon blaster. Nice. Hey Marie, your turn. Go full throttle on the power output in the front leg. We're lifting this pass. Output max to the front leg. Hyper booster activated. God hammer suplex. Oh shit. Come on. Oh, oh damn. Oh yeah. Whoa, Nelly. Did we just flip that beetle? That's our chance. Shoot it in the belly. Firing multi-target missiles, Omega. Fire! Oh shit. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ow! Ooh! Ouch! Ooh! Oh! Damn, bitch! Fucked him up. We fucked that thing up. God damn! Yeah, close results. Holy shit! What the fuck? It vanished. Yep. Did we do it? I'm still not sure what it was. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> what? The guy again. <gasps> oh. What? Oh shit! Oh! What happened? What the fuck happened? Oh my god, I, I need fucking- I need to know! What the hell is that? What? What? The Animus' emergence has begun as planned. Mm. The Terran plan to restore Earth galvanized the Singularity Gate into generating the Animus. The Animus devours civilizations to birth nature. Everything's happening just as you wish. This will mark the planet's true restoration, and it's all thanks to you, my allies. Okay. I don't know what's really going on here, but yeah. Up. Oh, back to Adam and Eve again. Yep. Seems like it. Mm. Well, it seems they opened the Pandora's box we sealed on our mother planet. Forced it open, you mean? I believe that's a better descriptor. The horned Animus was the force driving Kemox's army. They found something they never should have. When Kemox tried to use the Animus' power, they could not control it completely and it ran amok. Then the Kemox perished because they could not obtain the pro liberation of the Animus. LZ abandoned Earth to the Animus' appetite and fled to the cosmos. I take issue with that judgment. It was more of a strategic way to eliminate the Kemox. That said, do we take the abandonment route again? And where's the fun in that, Eve? Tis about time for us to join in the festivities as well. Hmm? But Lady Ephenlo senses that the possibility of final evolution exists in Earth's life forms. I do not wish to incur her wrath again. Eve, it is impossible for any being to surpass us through evolution. Even if such life did exist, I would think that the Animus, at the very least, would remove them. A valid argument. <laughs> And so, the verse of ruin, which once erased humanity on Earth, rings again. The Animus Armageddon is upon us. Oh, shit. Okay. So, we got rid of the thing, so... Now, I, oh, Prince Sarsham. Or Queen, not Prince Sarsham, fucking Queen Arsham. Yeah, I forgot. She's not a princess anymore, she's a queen. We'll finally be able to create a world where our people coexist in peace. Are you watching, Sarzen? 
I'm sure he would be proud of what you built, Prince Sarsham, but something troubles me. You mean the LZ? Yes. They may have been halted in the Pluto sector, but I'm sure they'll head here as soon as they regroup. We'll simply have to come together as one and devise some way to drive them off before then. Yeah. Oh, Princess Sarsham, you're needed at headquarters. Princess, but it's Queen, though. She's the Queen of Seidel. Yeah, what is it? What's the matter? Something terrible has happened. What is it? We got a report from the Ameno Murakumo. They've identified a large signal of unknown origin. What? The LZ? Already? Incoming transmission from the Ameno Murakumo. Receiving visual. Whoa! What? Dealing with one of them, there are so many. Are these related to those beetle creatures we defeated before? God damn. It seems pretty likely. They're emitting a similar reading. Animus. Extra-dimensional beings from the depths of space. This makes no sense. Shocks to the Earth's surface shouldn't affect creatures from another dimension. Has the Earth restoration plan awoken the Animus from their slumber deep beneath the surface? Don't you think it's more likely to be the LZ's doing? If that's the case, then the LZ must want to rouse the Animus to make the Earth destroy itself. Try searching for any sign of the LZ. Understood. Yeah. Just what are these LZ? The Galactic Empire of LZ. They're the largest interstellar nation we know about. The LZ Empire is massive. They subjugate planets with value and obliterate all others. Xidal is one of the planets they destroyed. It's why we escaped to this planet. We told you that Xidal perished in a cataclysm. But the LZ were the true harbingers of our demise. Why would you hide such important information from us all this time? Um, yeah, seriously, our two planets are supposed to be working together at a time like this. I simply wanted to give our planets a small respite, a chance, however brief, to forget about war. I plan to tell you, but I knew once you learned of the LZ, you would need to prepare for war. I wanted you to enjoy peace. Even if only for a short while. Damn, I understand that. There's no time to be bickering amongst ourselves. We've got to figure out how to deal with this. Exactly. The swarm has stopped moving. What? These readings are from Animus, and they all awaken and attack at once. The planet is doomed. Even if we had the power to defeat the Animus, they are a crucial component of the planet's crust. Eradicating them would spell doom for life on this planet. Then what should we do? We'll have to find some way to soothe the Animus to coexist. Something doesn't feel right. It feels as though they're being guided by some unknown puppeteer. Could it be that the LZ have not only roused the Animus, but are also controlling them? Possibly. I feel it. Adam of the LZ, the supreme commander, the one who led the destruction of Xidal. Yeah. Pretty sure he has something to do with it, motherfucker. Oh shit, it's Eve. And the cult people. The Animus Attractor waves planted in the Earth's crust are working. The Earth can be reset at any time. Oh, really? Well then, I expect nothing less once the time comes. Understood. By your command. Okay. Whoa. Hmm. Dang. Now what? Uh, oh, she's back. Oh? Please don't tell me you plan on going to Earth. Yes, I want to put the finishing touches on our plans myself. Seriously, waking the Animus to attack the Earth is one thing, but our interference is prohibited. I highly doubt Lady Efenlo will stand idly by while you do this. Lady Afenlo hides the truth from us. I will find the ultimate species Father Mato sought. If we disobey orders, we will cease to be no we will cease to be the supreme commanders known as Adam and Eve. We'll be right back to being consoles number 6117 and number 7543. It's been ages since anything has piqued my interest. Day in, day out, everything's so tedious. 
Are you so bored that you'd forget your duties as a commander? Can you even comprehend what that warrior showed us? To sacrifice oneself for the good of others? Besides, both Terrans and Xidals have obtained enough power to repel the Elzeed. Just what are you trying to say? They are like eggs. Eggs? The truth is hidden in a shell. They may be the ultimate species, the key to save this dying cosmos. You think you're just fulfilling the purpose of the LZ? You don't think that's contradictory? The two goals are aligned, is all. However, I am not as lenient as Lady Fenlo. I will bring results. Mm. I won't pretend this is about the LZ. Simply want to know what is happening to this universe. Oh, okay then. Dang. Oh shit. What? Is that? That's what I want to know. Uh, and who is that? The Viadrin's frame is based on Terran units, but I must warn you, this machine is very inefficient. Truly wish to pass something so base, Supreme Commander? If the opponent has only a sword, then I, too, will fight w with one. That's just common courtesy. Er, I suppose so. This unit's name is Musashi. I learned that when we read the Terran boy's mind upon his capture. What? Musashi? I dubbed this unit Musashi Wired. It will be our connection to the Earth and help us to uncover its secrets. Understood. I register it under that name. Please be careful out there, Supreme Commander. Hmm. Oh, shit. Shit. This ain't gonna be good, is it? Um. Oh god. Oh. Here he is. What is the purpose of the LZ? To recapture our mother planet? But before that, our sanctuary must be wiped clean of filth. The Animus Armageddon, the scourge of the Chemex, will eradicate the Earth. It will be born anew. Pure. If you would resist the LZ, then fight with all you have. Show us you are worthy of the earth. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Damn. Now what? Oh. Oh god. A high powered beam is being shot at us from outside the atmosphere. Oh fuck. The LZ, they're after the Animus Core. Large number of LZ soldiers incoming. They'll reach the Earth's surface soon. Damn it, deploy the rogues immediately. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta do this shit. Oh, fuck. Damn. What the fuck? Jesus. Holy shit. Damn. Fuck. The LZ are attacking. Yamato, this battle is for the fate of your planet. Do or die, huh? Fine by me. I ain't about to give up. Knocking these punks out might be what finally brings us all together. Exactly. So let's do it. You're not playing as Yamato Ichidaiji. Yeah, I'm get yeah, book of otaku tickets. Oblivion Bay, Underground Dock, Mission Gunner. I'm just gonna save right here. All right, all right, y'all. I'm gonna end the gameplay right there. If y'all enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. And for the game videos every day, and maybe, and hopefully, like the next gameplay video will actually be the end of the Megaton Musashi Wired main story. All right, but yeah. But anyways, guys. Um, be sure to share this with family and friends. Hope they enjoy it as well. And as always, I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.